Good morning everyone, I am the Average Golfer and this is testing on tour and in today's video I'll be taking a very close look at Cobra's new iron, well pair of irons, the Forge Tech and the Forge Tech X and that brings us to North Wales and what appears to be a very picturesque Betty Coed golf club. Right, so whilst I uh, hit a few balls and get ready to form an opinion on these clubs, I wanted to take a look at a few images and let me know what you think of these clubs in the comment section down below. Well, hopefully you've got involved in the comments and let me know your opinion, but from my perspective, I think these are quite simply possibly the best irons that Cobra have ever brought to market. Certainly from a visual perspective, which is what we're talking about right now. And my personal opinion is that sort of forge tech model, nice bit of shiny chrome, minimalistic in its sort of markings, looks absolutely stunning in this sort of category. Then you move over to the forge tech X and quite arguably it's a game improvement iron it looks absolutely superb so from a visual perspective uh, shelf appeal if that's what you want to call it then I would be picking those up all day long right so these irons fall into that category of being hollow bodied and uh, whilst there's a bit of tungsten packed in there and some magic foam one of the things that always sort of gets me a little bit with these uh, irons is that they call them forged and we know that's not in the true sense of the word there is a forged face but what I want to know is how do they feel and sound or what you want to know is how they feel and sound at least in my opinion and that is really really good I think they've done an exceptional job some of the hollow bodied irons sound just a tad hollow to me and I think it's recognizable in these that is not the case they've done a super job of getting the feel and sound spot on so they look really good they sound and feel really good how do they perform well it's fair to say both these sets of irons fall in that strong lofted category to me that's not a big deal to be honest with you I play golf by uh, how far I hit an iron what the carry distance is and the number on the bottom well it's pretty much irrelevant to me um, the issue for me, or what I'd like to know is, or understand, is the difference between the two is they both contain an element of tungsten, a little bit more in that uh, X model than in the standard product. How does it affect possible forgiveness? Well, if I'm honest with you, again, I've not really seen anything to suggest that one is massively more forgiving than the other. I've hit the ball in a number of different places on the club face on both sets of irons. I've seen no major drop-offs. In fact, there's one part here from, uh, we've played a bit of a playing round here. You'll see a nine iron in front of you now, which um, you can see very much came out of the toe area. I caught it a little bit heavy and I didn't expect it to get anywhere near where it actually finished up, which was basically pin high. That's the kind of thing that always impresses me when we're doing these kind of reviews. I like to know what's gonna happen when I don't get it quite right. And like I said, you would expect more forgiveness from the X model. I'm not necessarily seeing it out here on the course. What it gets really interesting for me is the ability to blend the set because I think this is the perfect scenario that you find yourself in where certainly down that longer end of the bag in perhaps the four or five iron, even the six iron, the idea to put the Forge Tech X in, even though I've already said no one seems more forgiving than the other, just that sort of visual element at address where that bit of bulk suggests just gives you a bit more confidence i know that i've been reaching for those longer irons or when i've reached for a longer iron it's been from the forge tech x range because for some reason like i said my mentality tells me it's going to provide me with a bit more forgiveness so four five and six in the forge tech x and then blended seamlessly into the forge tech into those lower end irons seems perfect because even from a dress there's not a great deal to tell there's a bit more finesse when you're starting to get into the 8-9 pitching wedge from the Fortec range and I just think like I said this is the perfect opportunity to blend a set together and come up with a pretty perfect situation. Right, so on course this morning, I've got a mixed bag of a set between the Forge Tech and the Forge Tech X and what you'll see me play around this course is a lot of four irons from the T, uh, that being of the Forge Tech X model. The comment I would make is just how easy the ball launches, how high it launches and again defies that strong loft. 
Also, whether that tungsten element works or the special foam that's inside, I've no idea, but they seem plenty forgiving enough. As I've already mentioned, I've had a few miss hits and still got away with stuff, so I like that. You then go into the mid irons and they've got a nice little profile sort of on both models. They're not overly big and again, top line on both, whichever way you're swayed, still feel relatively compact. They just really look neat and effective at a dress. Not a great deal of offset on either, either. And then when you get into the uh, short end of the bag, wedges, the nine irons, well again, they've got a real good feel to them. A nice blend between, like I said, this idea of a hollow bodied iron that feels really good. Ball flight again on those uh, shorter irons is still very much a towering ball flight, even again that strong lofted element sort of balances its elf out with the uh, the placement of the CD, all those other things that go into making sure that you get optimum performance from each of these clubs, irrelevant of how strong the loft is. And again, we've seen balls land on green and being controlled in terms of that spin element has not been an issue either. So from a performance factor out here on the course, it's really hard to be critical, to be honest with you. Right, so the final thing to perhaps consider is this is a genre, a field that is extremely competitive. What I mean by that is the hollow bodied irons market. Up on screen now, you'll see a number of the more popular models from leading brands. So this is a competitive area they've pitched themselves into. The product really stands up for itself in terms of performance, there's no doubt about that. From a looks perspective, all those other things, absolutely spot on. They're pitching in at a price of 145 British pounds per club. What it's not done, a few years back when Cobra sort of really came back on the market with a bang in terms of its driver release was they had a real good performing driver, but they put it at a price point that really stole a march in its competitors. They don't quite do that with these irons because like I said, it's very much in and around the figure you're expecting to pay for some of those competitors. But either way, this is a real, real good set of irons. It is, in my opinion, the best irons that have been released by Cobra to date. They are that good. I'm not swayed one way or the other in terms of which I personally prefer, but what I would say is if you're in the market for a new set of irons right now, I would certainly stick those two on the list because they are real, real good performance. And as I've already said, and probably repeated it many times, they tick every other box. Right, I hope you've enjoyed that video. This is very much testing on tour. We've been down here in North Wales, Betsy Coed Golf Club. Hopefully you've enjoyed a little look around here as well. If you wanna see the next video is gonna be me playing nine holes around this golf course with these irons. We'll see if my opinion changes when I've got a scorecard in hand and when it really matters. So make sure you keep your eye out for that one in the next couple of days. Thanks for watching. Give me your feedback as ever in that comment section below and I'll see you all very soon.